Yeah, I'm cool either way. Okay, cool. And then I'll just, I'll check it out and I'll call you and then... And Adam Dorn, yeah. This is my favorite bass. This is a 70s Fender, 1977 Fender Jazz bass. So I play this on, I play it on my records, I play it live, I do sessions for people. This is the main bass. I got this in 2007 from Rudy's Music on 48th Street. Um, props to Dean. This is where Mark, Marcus would say, oh, you're doing your Mark King shit, and I think I'm doing Marcus shit. Like, I do a lot of sessions for composers for TV. Mm -hmm. um, so they'll just send me a Pro Tools file, and I'll just like, you know, whatever it is, like, I start with this bass. This E string will detune and stay clear to like, <sighs> I can get down to C. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I can get down to like B flat, and it, it's, this, this neck is a rock, so it stays in tune and it rattles a little bit. Like, yeah, I just did a whole series. Buddy of mine, this guy Dave Porter, a great composer who does Breaking Bad, um, just did a new show for ABC called Red Widow, and I played almost all the bass on it. Like, he would just send me sessions and I'd just replace it. This bass, up until really recently, like, I had to work so hard to get what I wanted out of it, and that was all just here, you know, and like where you place your hands, how you play it. And this, this thing is like a machine gun, you know. I recently did a lot of work to it. So I put one of these in here. It's um, Aguilar, it's like a well-known company that makes uh, preamps and... You know, it's like really clear and it sounds nasally, but it cuts like on a gig, you can really hear it, especially if like a jazz gig or a fusion gig or something. Also, new pickups made by Nordstrom. Uh, basically, they make it so I can record um, into the computer and the RF and all the noise from the monitors. These, these pickups completely cancel that. They're really shielded and they just, they sound really clear. They're, they're really good pickups. New York has this thing like you make, sh you make shit harder than it needs to be. Like this bass was impossible to play. And for me, it was such a badge of honor to be like, I'm getting the best sound out of this thing. And it's like, I'm fighting it. And now I don't fight it anymore. <laughs> now I moved to LA and I'm like, I put the right preamp in it. I got new pick. And you know, it's like, this thing is like completely been gutted. And I love it. Mm -hmm.